Welcome back. This is tutorial number three, Culling and Basic Tools for Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the basic tools used in editing in our cutting room floor, as well as how to cull your footage. Culling your footage means basically we're going to look through all the footage that you have, and we're going to figure out which clips are the best clips to use. Now to pull your footage onto this cutting room floor here, you're going to go up and click on your footage folder and you're going to grab your footage and pull it in. Now, if you don't have your footage folder here already, you can double click in this empty space. You're going to go to your hard drive, open up your folder. Remember our file management, you're going to find your footage folder and you can either collect your footage as an entire folder as is by clicking on the footage and clicking on import folder. Or if there's a new footage folder in here that you haven't yet downloaded, you can click on that footage folder, click import folder, or find specific fi files that you wanna download that you may be missing. We're gonna hit cancel as we already have our footage in there. And we're gonna go and open up that folder. And we're gonna start with this footage here. We're gonna click on the first one and we're going to scroll down and before we click on the last one, we're going to hold down shift and click on the last footage. We're going to release shift and we're going to grab this footage and pull it all the way down. Now this is going to link your footage with your audio. In this case, we're not going to be using the audio of our footage. So we're going to go ahead and toggle that track off. At any point, if you want to toggle your audio back on or off, you can click here. Same thing goes for your video footage. If you want to toggle that on or off, you click on the eyeball over here on the side. Now this is showing us that both our video one and our audio one tracks are our main tracks. If you were to copy and paste and put anything onto your track, it will automatically go into either one of these two categories and on this line. Should you want to change that, you can click on any other track and unclick that first track. And now if you copy and paste, it will arrive here on this track instead. But your audio track will still continue to arrive on that first audio track. We're going to go ahead and leave that alone for now and we'll come back to that later. In this case, to call, basically you're just going to hit play and watch through your footage and see which ones you want to use. Now as you're watching through your footage, you're going to want to keep your mouse close to the selection tool or press V to click your selection tool and the razor tool or click C to be able to keep that going. Now if we switch over to the razor tool and we're watching here, we're going to wait and see when we have footage that we want to call. If you decided that you wanted to use this here, your space bar is also your start and stop button. So if you want to keep your hands on the keyboard, two hands on the keyboard is what I suggest. I'm going to go ahead and hit cut right here. And then I'm going to back up my track by clicking on this yellow arrow at the top here. I'm going to back this up just a little bit and I'm going to cut right before that foot comes into our screen. So we're going to click here and watch that. And then before we move on, I'm going to go back to my arrow key. I can either click on V or click on the arrow key. And I'm going to click and drag up one level. Now, the reason I suggest doing your culling this way is that you can watch through every piece of footage that you have taken. And you're not going to really miss any of your footage. And that you're going to be able to pull up the footage that you want to keep to use for your next cut. So as we go through, we can also scrub through the footage by clicking and dragging on this little yellow arrow here until we see an area that we want to use. For example, if I wanted to capture this portion here, I can back this up until I see what I want to see. I'm going to click C again to get that cut tool, or I can come over here and click on the razor tool. And I'm just going to go right from here as he lifts up his foot. A little bit of ketchup goes flying, so we're going to hit OK. We're going to cut there, and then we're going to go in. Now, if you can't see what you're supposed to be clicking on, you can use this to zoom in and out. So we're going to zoom in, and I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to pull it up. So now if I click over here on this yellow line, and I drag this down, your footage will disappear, or if it's left in the middle, it will become much dimmer. This is your opacity level. This is how clear your footage becomes. So if you're wanting to lay this on top of other footage, you can click here, lower your opacity, and then have two fading clips going together at the same time. Also, if you're clicking on a piece of footage and you accidentally go to the edge of your footage and you see an arrow with a line 
almost like a bracket on one side. This is to, to change your footage. So if you wanted to make it shorter or longer, you can click on this little edge here. And while your mouse is this arrow with a bracket on it, you can change the length of your clip. You can also remove your clip on accident by pulling it all the way to the side. If you do this, control Z and your clip will reappear. Once you've culled all of your footage, you're going to have a culling sequence that looks a little bit more like this, where you have lots of different footage pulled up above. And the reason we pull this footage above, so when we move on to making our rough cut, we can click here and drag all the way across to select all of these pieces all at once. That's about it for culling. Please join us for the next tutorial where we talk about creating a rough cut and the basic tools to do that. See you in the next one.